you know, it meant a lot. I'm the second person in my family to graduate from college from four years, so, um, you know, it means a lot. I had my mom and dad come out, and they got to be with me, which was really important to me, so, yeah, it was a good day overall. What would you say about how, you're, uh, how the football part of Um, you know, I feel good, but you know, there's constantly things that I feel like I need to improve on, and not just me individually, but um, you know, us as a team, as an offense. So, so far throughout fall camp, you know, it's been a grind, but you know, I'm happy with the you know the good things we've done. But it's just a constant, you know, strive to get better every day. How did the whole take You know, it it hurt a little bit. Xavier was our guy. You know, he was. I wish him nothing but the best. You know, it's no lost feelings for from any of us to him. You know, as a person, he's he's a great dude. So, you know, it kind of took us by surprise. But, you know, it's kind of Coach G and Coach Sack, Coach Will, they talk about, you know, 831 comes, we have a game. <clears throat> it doesn't matter, you know, who's out, we have to play. So it's kind of now just uh, got to step it up. A little bit more urgency has been, you know, kicked into the receiver room and the offense has in general. So, you know, we're just trying to, Keep going and, and pick up where you know the piece that we lost. So, what position should they have you working at right now? A um, little bit of everything. Um, you know, with this offense, Coach G talks about it's a positionless offense. So, you know, I like to make sure I'm learning concepts and learning really what everybody's job is. And so, I've been kind of put in different places all over the field. How, how is this offense being similar or different to what you've been in the past? Um, I think it's a lot different. Everybody seems to get involved. There's answers for everyone in, in the offense, so, which I like that a lot because I feel like you, know, you can't just, as a defense, target one type, one person because we have so many weapons. So um, yeah, it's a lot different, but I enjoy it. Do you feel like one of the old guys in the room? Is, and how big a responsibility is it to you to bring along some of those guys? Yeah, I, I, that's something I've been working on actually this season. Um, it's kind of been hitting me more and more as we got into fall camp that I am an older guy, and this is going to be my fifth year of college. So um, it's not something that obviously I'm used to, but it's something that I definitely feel I do need to work on and taking a step and being a leader, you know, in that room. And so um, I've never really been a super vocal type of leader, but I'm working on, you know, trying to lead by example and, and bring these young guys under our wings and, and, you know, hold a standard that they can follow. Oh, yeah, I think all of them are very athletic. You know, I think they, they all have a really bright future. Some of them are going to help us this year. I think, you know, you just never know what could happen, but they're all really talented, so I'm excited. How much you pay attention to a guy like Malik Hamilton? You know, he's had such a high point of career, and it seems like a good teacher of other guys. Do you watch him a lot? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Billy's a great receiver. You know, he has a lot of experience under his belt coming from Virginia. So, you know, anytime you have a guy like that, you know, you have a lot of respect for him just because he's played a lot of football. So, you know, I think everybody in the room, you know, looks to Billy and, you know, learns a lot from him. And um, I think it's vice versa. We all learn from each other and, you know, take things from one another. So. Is, is Satterfield's offense pretty difficult to learn? Is the playbook pretty big? And, and I guess if you put yourself in, a, in the shoes of a freshman, and how would that be? Um, you know, it's, it's hard like any playbook is at first, you know, but uh, I think the biggest thing is just – learning memorizing formations and then learning concepts because at that point you know like I said earlier it's a positionless offense that's how we see it as receivers so once you get to all the concepts and learning concepts it's really not super difficult but you know as a freshman coming in you know I think it can be overwhelming at times but um, you know it's just repetition and practice you know you got to be in your book every day and you got to you know put forth the effort to actually want to learn you know the offense so Um, a lot. I think we've made a lot of jumps. Um, it's obviously still things that we're working on every single day, but um, you know, from the spring to now, you can see guys, you know, with the playbook kind of just, they're not starting to know it like the back of their hand, you know, and guys are starting to get more comfortable with it. So, you know, always room for improvement, like I said, but I think there's been a lot of improvement for sure. Pretty thick, yeah. It's, it, you know, it, there's still so much stuff that we haven't even learned yet so I feel like the playbook is really never ending it's just <laughs> you keep it's learning there, more and more does it have a number of pages uh, yeah we've gone through a lot of pages right now <laughs> so far so
Thank you, guys.